Hello again, this is Connor Gray with Unison Audio, and we have another chord analysis video up for today. We're going to take a look at three tracks from an artist called Drake. We have Fair Trade, Hotline Bling, and Passion Fruit. To find out these exact chord progressions, I listened to the songs beforehand and figured them all out by ear. We're going to analyze that chord progression, think about it in other keys, and see what we can learn from these famous tracks. Let's get into it with Fair Trade. Fair trade is in the key of B flat minor, and we're starting on its flat six chord being G flat major seven. Then we're jumping down to five, so this is F major. Five becomes dominant, so this is F seven now. Then we're moving down to its four minor chord being E flat, and we're gonna play this as an add nine chord. So four minor add nine, E flat minor add nine. And then we're going back to flat six again and then this kind of loops like that. Let's talk a little bit about the key being in B flat minor, but how does that make sense since there is no B flat minor chord? So what's happening here is that the progression is setting our ear up, right? So six wants to move down to five, five becomes seven. Now if I play one after this being B flat, let's see what that sounds like. See how it feels done now. Let's do that same thing again. So six, five, five, seven, and then one. See how it feels done? So there's kind of a trick happening here. So our ear is being set up to expect one to happen, but instead of one happening, four happens. The takeaway here is that we can set our ear up to go somewhere, and then if we do something different, it sounds interesting, and add some cool harmonic flair to your progressions. Let's change keys now. Let's think in the key of A minor. So we wanna play the exact same chord progression relative to another key center being A. So we wanna play its flat six chord. So A, B, C, D, E, F. So F major seven, it's gonna go down to E major, E seven, D minor add nine would be the same harmonic move relative to this key now. So let's give that a play. So we're gonna start on F major seven. This is moving down to E, E dominant now, and then we're gonna finish on D add nine. And we can move back up to F. Same chord progression, different relative key center. That's all that's happening here. Up next is Hotline Bling. For the melody recreation, I'm using a Serum preset called Guitar Wild. It's from our free Unison Essentials MIDI packs. There's a lot going on here. There's scales, drum, bass loops, Serum and Omnisphere presets. I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can download this on your own and check out what we got going on here. Also, just to let you know, the drum loop I'm taking from here as well, and I'm using benefits. Hotline Bling chords, starting with B flat major seven first inversion, meaning that the third is in the bass, so that would be the note D. So D in the bass, then we're playing B flat, major seven, up top. The next chord is A minor seven, root position, and these kind of go back and forth. A couple times, one more time. Then we're playing C major over G, Okay, so we're putting C's fifth in the bass now. So this is second inversion. And then we're playing D major, second inversion. So A in the bass now. There are three types of inversions. So we have root position chords, meaning that the root of the chord is in the bass. 
First inversion is when the third is in the base. Second inversion is when the fifth is in the base. And there are actually also third inversion chords that happen sometimes, which means that the seven is in the base. This track has an interesting key center being D major. How I think about this is that all of the chords are in the key of D minor, but we're just playing the one chord as being major. So what do I mean by that? What chord do we start on? We're starting on the six chord, right? So B flat, major seven, going down to A minor seven. So this is like flat six, five, flat six, five, flat six, five, in the key of D. The second last chord is C major over G. So this is flat seven in the key of D. Just think, just think we're in the key of D minor the whole time and it'll make a lot more sense. So flat six, five, flat six, five, everything's diatonic so far. Yet if you watch my previous videos, diatonic just means all the chords are coming from the same scale that generates all of the chords, diatonic. All of these chords are diatonic to D minor. The only difference is when we hit D, we play it as major. And that's the interesting aspect of this. It's kind of um, surprising, right? When that last chord hits, it's like, ah. <laughs> makes my face do that anyway. It makes my face smile for some reason. Maybe it's because it's major. Okay, so one more time. B flat major seven, this is flat six, going to five, minor seven. It happens a couple times and we're playing C major. This is flat seven and then we're playing D but as a major chord. So it's something that is worth trying out. Playing in, playing in a key, right? So playing in a minor key or a major key, but then when you hit the one chord, change qualities. If you're in a minor key, make the one chord major. If you're in a major key, make the one chord minor. See what happens. Maybe there's some cool stuff that you guys can find there. Last, we have Passion Fruit. Okay, let's take a look at the chords from Passion Fruit now. And I gotta say, this is one of the most difficult transcriptions <laughs> I've had to do. Very complicated harmony, crazy chords. Let's get into it. We're not gonna talk about the key just yet, but just go through the chords first. So we start with this guy, it's an E major 13 chord. Then we have this guy, which is I guess C sharp seven sus six thing. <laughs> Not sure what to call it, but it's got a one, it's got a six, a flat seven, a one, and an 11. So it's like a seven sus six thing on C sharp. That's how we'll think about it. Up next, we have B major nine, first inversion. I don't think I've ever actually played this chord before, so. Very cool sound. Thirds in the bass here, D sharp. Then we have G sharp nine sus. So no third. It's got a nine and a four. And last, we have an E six nine chord. So how do we think about this? I'm thinking that we're in the key of G sharp and we're starting on flat six being E. So just think, rather than all the crazy extensions, right? It's like, what's a, thir what's a major 13 chord? Just think E major with some extra notes on. So that's how it starts with a E major 13 chord. This is flat six of G sharp. That's how I'm thinking of it. G sharp minor. This is its diatonic six chord being E. We're moving down to four now. There's no third in it. I'm still thinking it's four, but like a four sussy thing with a six. Um, so it's got a two, a four, and a six, and a flat seven, whatever you want to call that. I'm thinking it's four. Then we're moving up to flat three being B major, right? Because if we're in G sharp, B is its minor third. And we're playing B major, um, playing B major nine, first inversion. So just think that this is just a B major chord. So flat three relative to the key center. Then we're moving up to one, but we're playing it as a sus chord again, there's no third in it. So the key center is very ambiguous here. This doesn't feel like one, but I think that's how the composer was thinking about it, as far as I can tell. 
Then we're moving back down to flat six, but we're playing it a little bit differently than earlier. Playing it um, with a six and a nine. There's no seven in it this time. And then when we go back to the first chord, we do add the seven to it again. So now it's a major 13 chord. Well, that was actually a lot of fun. Um, there's a lot of good stuff in there. A lot of really cool ideas that I'm gonna be taking for myself and using in my own music. As I always mention, do try to figure these chords out on your own. Even if it's not these songs, definitely try to listen to music and figure out what the chords are. You can even just stack them one note at a time in your DAW and build the chords from there. To access our free content, you can head over to unison.audio, click free packs and it'll bring you to this page. We have over a dozen MIDI and audio packs to choose from, ranging from melodies, drum loops, chord progression packs, Omnisphere and Serum presets, as well as our most recent release, this Beatmaker Blueprint pack that you guys can check out. If you had any questions or suggestions, let me know in the comment section below and I'll get back to you there. And I wanted to thank you guys again for watching the whole video. I hope this is helpful to you in some way and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.